What's up everybody, my name is Jana and this is going to be my 17th birthday haul video. It's going to be split up into two different videos. The first one, I'll be able to show you guys things I've gotten from like mainstream high street stores. And then the second one, um, we will be looking at pieces from a local label called Depression. And I've gotten some apparel pieces and also um, some accessories, I think. And then afterwards, I'll be able to tell you guys about two pairs of Jeffrey Campbell's that I've gotten last year uh, in uh, November and, or December and also early January this year. They were all on sale. The first piece I'll be showing you guys is this one from H&M. Uh, actually, these two pieces are from H&M and this is from the men's department and this is from the kids' department. So I was really surprised to find this one. So this piece, I just thought that it was really um, simple, kind of minimalistic. You can just add on to your arm candy and give it like a pretty edgy touch. Next piece over here, as I said, I was quite surprised to find. Okay, that piece was $3.90 from the men's part. That piece was $3.90 and this piece was $5.90. And I was really quite surprised to find this piece because... Um, well, it's from a kids department and it's quite affordable. I'll be able to share this piece with my brother and my dad because we have really, really tiny this. Just look how small this is, man. <laughs> I actually got this at their flagship store at Grange Road. I haven't seen them anywhere else, um, like in Jam, uh, Ion. So if you want to get this piece, you gotta check out the their flagship store. Next piece is something from Forever 21 and I just thought it was really cute. It was quite affordable as well. It was 10 bucks for this golden little choker. I'll put it on Vegas. What I'll do with this piece is definitely not to wear it in the center like that. I just like it to be a bit slanted. Not sure why, but I just find it a bit more special this way. I am excited to start school, so, uh, but I know that I will be having a lot of troubles having to find um, a different outfit every single day, so I stocked up on basics. This piece is a crop top. If you've seen my previous video, I actually wore one with like stripes on it, and I've been just digging crop tops a lot. I wear them with everything, I even layer them a lot. Um, and they're just really, really versatile. So I have to get one in black. Maybe I'll get one in white as well. The next piece over here is something from Uniqlo. It's nothing really special. It's just a really comfortable tank top with this built-in bra. And what I like to do with this, I have one in black. And what I like to do with the other piece would definitely just by taking the ends of it and then tucking it in into the built-in bra or into my sports bra. That way, um, you can just adjust the length of it, like how long and how short you want it to be. But it's just really comfortable and we're going to end up with that. I've been really, really loving Zara recently, like more than Topshop and like Asian and Forever 21. Oh, I have no idea why, but um, I've gotten quite a few pieces from their sale. And uh, unfortunately, I went in the other day and their sale items are just not as good anymore. And because it's been around for a couple of months now, I'm not sure how long, but you can definitely try to get these pieces that I'm going to show you guys next. So this one is a scarf which I got for fourteen ninety, And I've been wanting to get a scarf for a really long time now because I really like the look of it. Especially for this piece, I have no idea why, but it, looks, it just looks a bit like... It's not exactly torn and tattered, but the way the fabrics are um, patched up together and also this piece of lace over here, it gives a very like laid-back, bohemian kind of vibe. These fabrics normally wouldn't exactly go together, but um, it somehow works and I gotta give props to them because yeah, it works. My favorite part of this piece would definitely not be the floral prints because and unfortunately, they are the majority of this piece. And what I would do is then then to show more of the checkered prints and also this um, polka dotted lace over here. Alright, so the next piece I'll be showing you guys is something that I've worn a couple of times already. And I just really like tops like that recently. And um, as you can see over here, I'm just going to go ahead and call it a mini turtleneck. I have no idea what's it called. It just has a really cute collar and it's like half of a turtleneck. So, mini turtleneck it is. And um, you guys might have already noticed um, from my previous videos that I just really like things with a higher neckline. And I've been like um, kind of layering things with a crop top just so that I have a 
just so that I will have like a higher neckline in my tops. And as you can see at the back over here, like it is actually bare back. And together with this strap of fabric at the neck, I just thought that it really looks very cool. And it's something that you can just put on with a pair of shorts and sneakers and can run out of the door really fast. That's actually what I did for my first day of work. Um, the fabric itself is not the most comfortable thing in the world, um, but it is bearable. It, it's kind of prickly but bearable. And because I like the shape of it so much, I actually got two more pieces. So this is how the first one looks and it might not turn out too well on the camera. Um, and also on this hanger right now, it's just stretched really ugly. But uh, I really like things like that. And this piece doesn't really have a... And it's just really slouchy. I got this in a... Is. What size is this? I got this in a size M and I just like things oversized but the unfortunate thing over here is that thread is already coming out and maybe that's why they had it so cheap. I actually got this piece for $9.90. But it's still a pretty nice piece and if you're able to just look past this small defect, uh, I still think that it's a very nice piece to have in your closet. And this is the third piece that I've gotten, uh, actually has its price tag on, it's fourteen ninety, just like the grey piece that I've gotten. And uh, I don't have a hanger on this so I hope you'll be able to see it. It has a slightly more bad winged detail at the sleeves area. And I really really like this piece because the fabric is just so free and comfortable. And it's fourteen ninety. Um, it has this time it's it's a, it's really a top on it. Continuing with pieces from Zara, I have over here a piece of shift dress. Uh, I'm not sure what this material is called, but once again, you can see that the neckline is something that I really look out for, especially recently. It just has a really straight cut. Alright, this is the last piece I have from Zara to show you guys. Um, I got this on sale as well. Everything I've gotten here, it's all on sale. Zara pieces, I always get them on sale. I never get them like full price because... <sighs> heart pain, huh? I really like this piece over here because of the details. And also because of this zip, I normally don't like zips on my um on my skirts, especially on the back. I think it just looks doesn't look very nice. And uh, what but what really drew me to this piece was how it um ends off at this part. It doesn't reveal too much, and also the panels over here, as you can see, um, it's only leather at the front and then towards the back. It's just normal fabric. But I actually saw this on a Star by Star member. Her name is Mona Tio. She has crazy style, man. I love her photos and I love the effort she puts into her photos. And um, I saw her in this piece and she looks really, really good in it. I think and when I saw it on sale, it was for $39.90 or slightly lower than that. $39.90. It was $39.90 and it was in my size. I couldn't miss out on it. I'm just going to randomly slip in something that I've gotten from um, H&M because... I think this was the only piece I've gotten from them for some time, yeah. And it is this chiffon, um, it's not exactly a kimono, it's like a cape kind of thing. Uh, I've been wanting to get a um, knitted cardigan, a long knitted cardigan for a really long time. So when this came out, it was only fourteen ninety, and I do believe that they have it in stores right now. I actually saw it, uh, I actually saw it I think on Saturday while I was out. So if you want, please do go ahead and take a look at it. Um, it has slits. It has slits over at the sides, so it just flows really nicely. For me, it's like a full length kind of thing. And um, for all you girls who are taller than 5'1", it will probably end off at a better length for you guys. So I just really like this piece. I'm not a big fan of chiffon, but this piece um, is an exception. And next piece I'm showing you guys would be... This one that I'm wearing, I got it from Top Man and uh, it was on sale. I got it with Charmaine, I, got, I met her the other day and she's a friend, she's a new friend of mine and we'll be going to TP's ADM uh, in two months time and I'm really really excited to start. So the sports box trend is definitely still in and I'm not complaining a bit at all because I still really like it. And you can definitely get inspiration from Brihanna. She does it really, really well with the whole spot slug thing. And um, the next piece that I've, I'll be showing you guys is also from Top Men. These two pieces were 19 bucks each. It's an oversized baseball shirt. I got it in a size L so that it would really be oversized. And uh, I can't. I actually wore this out like two, three times already, even though I've gotten them just a couple of days ago. I am actually looking at um, creating another lookbook uh, to show you guys how we can style this single piece. 
So the next piece is something that I've gotten with a Topshop gift card that my friends have uh, given me for my birthday. So I'm really, really happy with this purchase and I just want to say thank you. Um, this is something from Topshop Boutique and I have looked at it before and took secret selfies in the um, dressing room um, because I just love it so much. It might seem like a very simple piece but I just like its fabric and how it looks like, oversized and... Uh, also over here towards the sleeves um, you can actually see that the stripes they go um, vertically instead of just um, moving on with the stripes over here i'm sorry i'm not too good at explaining but um, i just really like the contrast um, it's just a very subtle one but it's really what makes the um, sweater interesting for me so these are the top shop lay jeans and i also got them because uh, i had the help of a gift card i actually won them on instagram so um, it is a great opportunity for me to get something that is really, really versatile and I'm sure, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have them. I tried these on and they look really good so this will be definitely be something that I will be able to just um, wear it through poly or maybe like through the first year before I get something new again. And yes, that is it. This is not exactly, this isn't exactly mine but um, my dad got it. And I have worn it at once. I just really love it. It's something from um, uh, Zara as well. It's from the men's section. Um, so it's really oversized. And I just gave it on it because it's really big. So I wore them anyway. And the prints is, it actually reminds me of um, those kind of Givenchy prints. And uh, it is a good thing. I think Zara is doing a good job. And uh, these were thirty nine ninety as well. So if you'd like. You can go take a look. I'm not sure whether they still have them in stock. But yes, I'm just really glad that my dad has like taste for stuff like that. I can definitely see myself wearing these pieces over and over again. And even possibly um, repeating a lot of these outfits. So yes, that is it. And I hope you guys will be looking forward to part 2 of this haul. And I will see you guys soon.